Centro is a place to go and you will probably see me there in September. You're really making it sound better than it actually is. <laughs> Prince Hall, also known as LP, and it's the second newest residence building on campus. It has really big windows and the rooms are fairly big as well. What's really cool is that the rooms back off to the forest and it's really common to see deer from your residence window. The only big con is that it's far from the main center of campus and when I say main I mean like the student center. So if you want food, if you want to go to the dining halls, just be prepared to walk a little bit more. Stadium. And I personally never watched a football game on this stadium, but that's usually a thing that people do, I guess. And there's a lot of practices that are held here. There was a soccer practice just a few moments ago. And uh, yeah, I, I can't wait to get on the bleachers and watch a game I don't understand. This is Peter George and if you've been following me for a while you know that I lived here in first year and I have some great memories here. I had a really nice room and I lived right on the seventh floor. It is now finished with construction so there's a fancy staircase, there's a doctor's office in there and a couple lecture halls which is really nice because if you have some classes in Peter George and you live there you can just take the elevator down and essentially your PJs or sweats and you're good to go. They also added this new type of garden fountain thing which I find really nice and I can't wait to chill here in, in the next few months. And yeah, if you're looking for a res, I'd say this is my number one pick. Here we have a very essential rock reminding you that love is forever. So this is McKay Hall, and I knew a couple people who lived here. And what it looks like on the outside is how pretty it is on the inside. They do have one good pro though. Their washrooms are very nice and renovated. It looks like a hotel. And the washrooms aren't communal. I believe like four units share one washroom, so not that bad. And another good thing is that it's super close to the center of campus. Just over there, just over there, just over there. is the student center. So it's just a walk away and also the main dining hall is literally two seconds from the residence. So you're pretty much set here in terms of location. So this is Centro at Commons and it's the largest dining hall on campus. The main residences that come here are PG. LP, McKay, Wooden, and Woodstock. I might be missing a few, but yeah. And they have a whole bunch of different food, sandwiches, pastas, sushi. I spent a lot of money at the pasta bar and I would load it up with veggies, sometimes double protein. I can't wait to come back. It's usually very busy and I remember on Christmas we had cookie decorating, which was really fun. I got to meet a bunch of people that way. So yeah, Centro is a place to go and you will probably see me there in September. You're really making it sound better than it actually is. This is a commons building and it's not super aesthetic, it's just a building. However, there's one thing that's really important. If you have an Amazon package problem like me and you want the Amazon Prime student deal, which you will get, which I believe is six months of free subscription and you want to load up on your packages, this is where you come and pick it up. 
The only downside is that through the sorting facility here at McMaster, it might take longer than two days to get your package. However, yes, you can still do your online shopping and feel that addiction. This is Brandon Hall, and I believe it's the tallest residence building, even taller than PG. See, it has a lot of floors, and I know the Arcals one of their members or a couple of them actually stayed in one of the rooms up here. I think the rooms are pretty small. You're really like sleeping really close to your roommates and they also have communal washrooms. I've only been here I think once. that I really like. It's super close to Brandon, just right behind it. It's a hike to Coots Paradise. So there's a lot of forests. There's also a really nice lake or pond. I guess that's what Coots Paradise is. And I really enjoy coming here in the summertime. Also in the wintertime, it freezes over, but don't try and skate on it because I've seen people fall through. This is Woodstock, and I believe Woodstock is one of the oldest residents. My dad actually stayed here back in, I don't know when, but it was a very, very long time ago. I know they have triple rooms that are quite squished. I don't know if they have air conditioning, but the location's pretty good, and it's just across from Brandon and just across from that really cool hiking trail. This is Winnen Hall where Allison stayed and my cameraman Travis stayed. That's actually how they met. And Winnen has actually pretty big rooms and they also have balconies, but unfortunately you're not allowed to go out there. I think Winnen has a really great culture. I've spent some time in their common rooms and met a bunch of people. They might not have the newest rooms, but I think the people here are very cool. Sorry, there's like flies everywhere. <laughs> I can't say much about this residence because I've never been inside it. However, in my opinion, it's one of the more beautiful residences because it's very historic and it's fairy tale like I know the location is awesome. If you have a lot of social science or humanities classes, you'll like where it is. It's as close as you can get to the quad, which is where a lot of those classes are. And it's also as close you can get to the student center. So here we have a dining hall called La Pisa, although I didn't spend too much time at La Pisa. It's a nice place to chill. When the election was going on, I sat and watched on the projector, and they have a lot of fun things during O week. I know there was like a casino night in here, I'm pretty sure, so yeah, a lot of fun, and it's a cool place to hang out. Also, the line to Starbucks and Tim Hortons here is so, so long. Don't spend time there. It's not worth it. However, some people might beg to differ. The arts quad I was talking about earlier is surrounding the student center, so you'll see it right now. This is Togo Salmon Hall. I had calculus here. Then we are approaching Chester View Hall. I had Asian religion class there, which I really enjoyed. Here's the student center coming up. This is Kenneth Taylor Hall, or KTH. I've never had classes there, but once again, a lot of arts classes can be found over there. This is the Disgroot School of Business Building and ironically I've never had a single class in here. Maybe that's because I was in first year taking more general classes. However, I hope to have some smaller classes inside this building and it's also a building used for a lot of networking events in the commerce faculty. Another cool thing is that the DSB has its very own trading floor. I've never actually gone there because I wasn't too involved in first year and I didn't even know if I wanted to do sales and trading. However, now that I'm doing an internship in that area, I'd like to spend more time on the trading floor and meeting other people who are interested in s and This is 
my favorite spot on campus, the David Braley Athletic Center. I come here every morning to get a good workout in and then after reward myself with some booster juice. I really do miss this place and come September I'm going to be teaching my very own fitness classes so I hope you guys come, come and meet me and I'd love to get a good workout together. That was not loud enough. Three, two, well, I think I had enough for today. It's like 30 degrees and I'm sweating. I hope you enjoyed the first part of this tour. I don't know how many parts there are, but we pretty much covered PG plus surrounding areas. So take a look for yourself if you're ever in the area and try and uh, follow along. I'll see you guys in the next one. I hope you enjoyed this video and until the next one, have a great week or two. Bye.